we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Good morning, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing awesome. This is the awesome time of year for awesome weather. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your weather is looking like, where you are, maybe like where you are. Because right now, just beautiful here in good old Alaska. So we're here in the interior of Alaska here. If you're new to the channel, we're in North Pole, Alaska, right in the middle of the state or pretty close to the middle of the state. And the funny thing is, is people will think, they think of North Pole, Alaska, or just all of Alaska as uh, just endless winter and here we are it is uh, roughly about 70 or so degrees light breeze you're about to be up in the like 82 83 degree temperatures today Woo! which is funny because see right Alaskans we will complain about how cold it is oh my gosh it's cold it's cold you know when it starts getting colder than 20 below zero it's cold and then when we can't we can't wait for summer and then summer hits and as soon as it gets about one degree, over 70 degrees, we're like, it's so hot, it's so hot. <laughs> this is, it's great, it's something we struggle with. To be fair though, on an extreme side of Alaska, now in our area, I think the coldest I can remember is roughly 60 below zero. There are, I think the record for, I don't even remember what place in Alaska, I think is 80 below zero, just ridiculous. Just stop it, right? Just too much, too much. But uh, here, I think 60 is about the coldest that I remember seeing it. And I think right around 90-ish is probably the hottest that I've seen it here in the summertime. So you think about 150 degree temperature swing that our little Alaskan bodies get to adjust to. It's just, uh, <laughs> that's why we start getting above 70. We, go, we start complaining, hey, it's getting a little hot. And then above 80, and we are just... We struggle with it, guys, but we don't have air conditioning in our homes. Very few Alaskan homes have air conditioning. So the folks that are, you know, in, uh, I don't know, Arizona or Florida or Texas or some of the southern states, and when you guys are used to like more than 100 degree temperatures, I can't hardly imagine. I, I've been to Florida when it was 100 degrees and I stepped outside and it was like... I can't even explain it. Alaskans can be a bit of a wimp when it comes to high temperatures. I will admit it, or at least for me, I was just at the gas station. The guy's like, oh my gosh, it's 73 degrees. I'm dying. <laughs> so it's not just me. But again, hope you guys are doing great. I hope your weather is good. You're able to do some stuff. Uh, some of you guys, if you guys are coming to Alaska, this is the best time to come, especially if you're already accustomed to the warmer temperatures because it's absolutely beautiful here, guys. It really is. So today on the agenda, lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff. What do we have going on? So we've got paint, the process being started at the Alaskan Apparel Shop today. Um, I'm having a contractor show up to work on the dirt work or start that whole process. Uh, I need to actually go, maybe I'll take you guys with me. I'm gonna go into town and go drop off some material. I need to get some control valves drop off to Antioch, Alaska, fairly remote village, pretty good size for a village. I think the population is like 500, which is pretty good size for Alaskan village by Alaska village standards. So drop off some control valves, get those kind of going out there because we have a project at the school that'll be starting soon. So again, hope you guys are doing awesome. This is just some of our stuff that we have in front of us and it's good times, it's good times. All right, let's get rolling with the day. Oh, you and I, we got it. Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally 
Hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Maybe it's the start of your week. Maybe it's the end of the week. I hope it is amazing. Holy guacamole. It is so hot. Okay. Us Alaskans, we, we do not heat well. We do not do heat well. I know we, we, we want it all the time. We, we are like, oh my goodness, will winter ever end? We get it. And we're dying. Oh my word. It is so hot. I ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. But you just can't get in. It is so hot. I think it's supposed to get up to 82 degrees here. AKA every Alaskan is melting. We're melting. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because we're at the kind of the top of the globe that the heat is like intense here. I don't know, it's different. It's very, very different. That being said, I love it. I think it's phenomenal. I think it's, I love the sunshine. It is a bit warm. I can't stay out here for too awful long without some like nice cold beverages or something. But it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Guys, look, my grass is cut. Our neighbor's son came over and, and mowed our lawn for us. He's gonna come back today, I think, and kind of rake it. Um, with like a little thing that he's because we still we still don't have our lawnmower back guys it's been done for almost a week and a half and Lowe's will not let me go pick it up they won't let me pick it up for them local saw shop rod saw shop who's fixed it they won't let me go get it and they were refused to bring it to me <gasps> for the whining enough of the whining but uh, I really would like to have my mower so I can mow the lawn myself. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's coming in. There's still some definite like, like patches and whatnot, but I like it. It feels so good. Me and Garrett, we actually planted another little, little barrel over here. This, the, when was it? A couple days ago we did. It feels like we haven't talked to you guys in a while. We kind of took like the whole weekend off from vlogging, which is, which is kind of weird for us. Actually, I actually did quite a bit of uh, work around the house because that's what I do. I have a question, actually. I've been looking into this a little bit more. I met up with a friend out of town and she wanted to meet up with me and we met at a park and uh, we talked about Enneagrams just for like a little bit. Do you guys know what that is? Um, it's kind of like a personality type of a test, right? To kind of see where you might fall on this spectrum of different types of people and what motivates you and what drives you. So learning about it a little bit more. Let me know in the comments what you are as an Enneagram. That would be interesting to know. Um, and then maybe a guess, if you have a guess of what Bert and I are. Cause I think we know, I think we know. We've done the laugh your way to a better marriage um, type of a flag page. And that kind of it very aligns with who we are on the Enneagram world. I know the Enneagram is like super like deep kind of aligns with with how that all looks but let me know comments below do you know what it is what's your number all the things I've been kind of looking at it a little bit more with that being said we did a lot of work around the weekend here um, we actually have some friends that are gonna be coming and staying with us for about five days or so so Bert's cousin is actually getting married this weekend and some of his like his brother and his sister-in-law are coming up and they're gonna actually come stay with us so I'm just trying to get you know stuff kind of fluffed fluff it up a little bit maybe make sure that there's like nice sheets on beds things like that that's what i've been working on this past weekend these past few days family's gonna be here so bert's some of bert's family that is coming in for the wedding that's gonna stay with us pretty much the week this is next week it's gonna be my family's all gonna be here so it's kind of killing two birds with one stone of getting everything kind of done and situated see the gate did you see the gate Bert built? Oh my gosh, how phenomenal. Here's Bert's awesome fence, little gate for the garden. It turned out amazing. What's up? I'm so hot. Are you so hot? Are you melting? He's melting. Look. Oh no. Melting like a snowman. Yeah, it's hot for us. See, kids know. They know. Even when my pinky toe is tight. Hot? It has popped off. The porch is even scorching hot. It's just really, really, really hot. I think your shirt's on backwards, buddy. It's so relaxing. Okay, they're sipping lemonade. Now you know how Californians feel? They get this weather all the time. This is like normal. And our heat here, 
Like oh yeah. And this this heat, it's like more of a dry heat. Not like Arizona dry heat, but more of a dry heat, but and not super humid. Unless we get a lot of rain. Yeah, but it's not really humid at all. no, it's not really humid at all. So they're sipping their lemonade and eating some frozen grapes. Actually, Audrey put in some frozen grapes for Go everybody. Audrey! And they are phenomenal. Oh my word, the ice is melting. On the wow, on the grape. Jeez. So we have um, gymnastics today. It seems like you guys are, are catching us a lot on the gym days. Um, she actually, do you want to tell them? I'm going to start doing two days a week. Two mm -hmm. days a week. I'm really excited because we always wanted to do two days a week. That's what we got kind of on the agenda for today. Uh, I went and picked up a fire pit. I was uh, wheeling in a dealing for this guy. Last last one on the floor. It was a floor model, and came with the wood. Let's just say let's just say that it was like a, it was like 99 bucks. I wanted a nice fire pit. We actually I think we, the last one we had we donated it to our church uh, because they were using it a lot, and we we're like ah we'll just leave it and give it to them. So I needed a new fire pit. And so got one so that the whole fam bam can come out and sit around on the summer nights i'm so excited we got so many fun there's so much fun stuff planned i can't wait uh bert is actually out and about there's some things happening over at our property which is super exciting it kind of lulled there for a little bit um but we're really hoping that we should i think we've got internet out there now if you who don't know i upload from i pay for my mom's internet so that i'm able to have faster internet because they won't even bring internet out here we operate off of a like a MiFi, and so I have to go and go upload that way so it'll be nice to just have it at the shop and I can check in on things there and then just upload and anything I need to do Excited. We're getting ready to prime it here soon. Um, I think we're running some underground stuff for our water because we're actually not going to be operating off of a well. We're going to be operating off of city water, which we've never, ever done before for any of our properties. So good time. So let's actually check in on Bert, seeing how he's doing. I'm sorry if this has been super rambly. Feels like I haven't talked to you forever. And you know, when you haven't talked to a friend in a while and you're just like, blah, 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 I wish I could hear. Comment back to me, guys. So I hear the conversation back. Because sometimes I feel like, wow, I talk all about myself. Not good. Excuse me, ma'am? I'll get through it. Okay. <laughs> Best time of the day to do it. All right, let's check in on Bert and see how he's doing. So what can I do for you? I have three boxes going to Annie. Are they heavy, light, 40 pounds, I want them. I mean, if you want... Would you like them in here or... Uh, yeah, we can, we okay. can bring them in here. Okay. I got it, I got it, it's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. I got everything dropped off. Good to go, I went and checked them first. Yeah, it's going to Antioch, right? Yep, yep, yep. And they, I bring all the boxes in, they're like, oh, we don't fly to Antioch. You'll have to go with uh, Raven or Everett's. I'm like, <laughs> now you tell me. Let's go to Raven and mail this through the correct air service and then go to the shop and see how the, the old dirt work's going. Fail. Fail. Hello. Uh, where's the cargo services at? Cargo services is right outside. Oh. This warehouse looking building right okay. outside. Okay. Yes. Uh, do you guys know if you fly to Antioch? Um, they, they, yeah, they, I believe they, I don't know if they downline or do cargo direct, but they do do Antioch. So. Okay, awesome. Praise God. All right, thanks so much. property We've got some loads being delivered as we speak boom 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 we're gonna try to get the try to get the finished grading done here so the whole idea is to get about a six inch slope within 10 feet or so uh, all the way out nice and smoothy smooth also the same on that back side too so that's some of the 
uh, the push that we're trying to do now, once we get that done, then we can build this little deck and staircase um, up to the apartment area. And uh, yeah, it's just a process, right? And then back here, I'm gonna peel some of this off and just backfill with a little bit of gravel. So if we ever do add on here, it is all ready to go. We just gotta add more material. We don't have to take any out. A lot of these trees and stuff will get hauled out. So all that's happening. What else do we have? So before, before we even have everything done, we have our internet here. Our internet has been done. We actually have internet. Supposedly I haven't even tested it. Actually be out here and connect to the internet in our framed semi-functional uh, <laughs> mechanical room. <laughs> so we did this guys because we don't have internet at our house. We have no wires. We actually operate right from a cell phone. So this was a high priority. We've been going to Nena's house, but as you guys know, Nena's going to be retiring and leaving soon. So sad day, but uh, it is what it is. So this was our fix of trying to come up with a internet solution. So now anytime you guys are watching even this video here, it's because my wife uh, drove here to be able to upload videos so you guys can even see them. It's about 40 or 50 below. It gets a little bit tough, but it's... It's worth it for you guys. A couple of things that have been happening here is we've got some electrical happening. So we've got lighting being installed. Uh, I've got some alarm system wiring as well. Run some Smurf tube for future stuff. We have power into the building. So our panel here fed from the underground meter. Everything is trenched in. So these are all our circuits that tie into this. The uh, panel upstairs has a separate panel in case they trip a breaker, right? So they have to come down here. Uh, that's installed as well up there, but yeah, we've got progress. It doesn't seem like it, but this is the part that takes forever, right? So uh, basically this week, I've got dirt work happening. We've been working on some wiring and we should have some paint hopefully show up. But it sounds like we're gonna be having some thunderstorms. So cross our fingers on that. But anyway, just wanted to show you guys a, a bit of an update. We appreciate you and being able to have the opportunity to do stuff like this. This will uh, allow my wife to be able to order uh, more Alaska apparel stuff because you, things just sell out so fast. So hope this will be a good tool for my wife to order enough to be able to keep up with the demand. But with that, let's go ahead and send you back to the family, see how they're doing. I think, honestly don't know what they're doing. So you guys can let me know how they doing. Send you to them. Take more than a second For you to turn a whole world upside down Turn this big boat back around Had you been watching and waiting From some place up above Somehow no Can you see? So stinking cool. I have never seen one of those in real life. That is so neat. Look at this. I think it's called a sun dog. Do you see the thing up in, up in the sky? Do you see that? Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need to
guys, we are sitting here at 9.45. This beautiful, beautifulness. Our children have abandoned us. One's at the park, two are at the other side of the beach. Come to the water when it's hot. Oh, holy moly, there were so many people. It's actually thinned out quite a bit. This is actually getting ready to cut, shut down in the next like 15 minutes or so. There's a sun dog still. Can you see it? Okay, I can't see. I can't see see it, but if it's still there, that was pretty stinking cool. Sometimes, and we've heard this of like, oh my goodness, Alaska's always cold. Alaska's always just frigid. Especially North Pole, Alaska, North Pole. you'd think would be ridiculous. Right. right? It can get hot here, and today is a perfect example of that. I mean, we're, I don't, we're, we're, we're melting. We're literally <laughs> melting because we're just not accustomed to it. But it was like 85. I think I got it. I saw it up to 88 degrees today. Oh my goodness. At least on my car reading. Oh my oh. word. We thought it'd be super fun to come out, take a little, take a little sit by the lake, enjoy it, soak up some family time. Because we have no air conditioning have, in our yeah. homes. But our house is super, super insulated, so ours stays pretty cool, except for our upstairs. Our upstairs is like, <laughs> don't go up there. It's crazy to think that like where we're at right now in roughly, what, uh, six and a half, seven months, definitely be 40 to 50 below zero right where we are, and it's in the 80s. So, I, I don't know, our blood must just go wee, wee like adjusting to sunlight all the time, and then no sunlight, and what, why do we live here? Are We're we, unbalanced, guys. Are we just weird people? <laughs> But it's so beautiful. I mean, people just live for the summers out here and you have so many different options and varieties of things you can do all over the state. So you, you know, you have people coming here. I, I have friends that go and they are flying in an airplane today. I saw on their Instagram people that are going in glaciers. Like, I mean, it's just vast, the different things that you can do here in the summertime. So we love it. I, I still see them. I still see them. They found some friends. They found They're friends. all over the place. They're all over. But I think we're going to call this one a night, guys. We're going to enjoy this time and just relax. Decompress from the day. Catch up. I haven't seen him much today. You know, it's been a crazy it's busy a day. crazy day. And we've got more crazy busyness coming up. We're going to like I said, we're gonna have people here staying with us. We might vlog while they're here. You can see though all the different dynamics of people. It's a good time. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Take it away, kids. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. Come here, feet.